Hello everyone and welcome to a very nice game played between uh, Felix Langeil, XQC and Hikaru Nakamura. It was played on uh, on, on one of their streams uh, and um, uh, well a lot of you guys have been asking me to, to show some, some of their games. So here it is, uh, I took one from XQC's video. Uh, I will put a link into it in the description below if you want to see the entire stream. There are uh, several games he played against Nakamura, there are normal games, uh, games with queen odds and uh, a lot of different stuff. Uh, but before uh, we check out the game, uh, I would just like to invite you to check out one other video uh, it's a video by penguin zero uh, titled chess drama i will put a link to it also in the description below it will be the first thing you see so do check it out if you don't know what what it's about as uh, we're going to discuss it a bit uh, uh, after this game uh, so uh, Felix Langeil, uh, he's a former professional Overwatch player uh, and now he's a full-time streamer, uh, one of the bigger streamers and Hikaru's been streaming uh, a lot with other streamers lately and getting more and more of them into chess. So uh, in my opinion, it's it's a good thing. It's, it's a great thing, uh, you know, uh, as if, for example, if someone is a... Uh, uh, streams uh, Overwatch or, or League of Legends or Hearthstone or Dota or pretty much any other game and he gets like maybe uh, 10,000, 20,000 uh, viewers per stream uh, and uh, if he, for example, streams chess uh, in, in front of those, let's say, 10,000 10, viewers, he it's it's enough to uh, interest, let's say, 0.01% uh, of, of uh, <laughs> their viewers to get uh, more people into the chess community. I think it's a wonderful idea and, uh, well, I, I, I definitely Definitely welcome it. Uh, so this is one of the games. Uh, like I said, uh, do check out all of them. I will put a link to it in the description below, uh, where Hikaru is basically tutoring uh, XQC uh, on how to how to improve his chess. Uh, so XQC opens with e4. Uh, we have e6. Hikaru goes for the French defense, and now Bishop to c4. So it's it's been seen. It's not not a new move or anything. Uh, we have d5. Hikaru strikes in the center, and now bishop to b5 with check, uh, checking if uh, Hikaru will block with c6 to retreat to the bishop, uh, or bishop to d7, just blocking uh, where XQC just trades. So captures, captures, and here uh, there is one game in the database where knight to c3 was played. But here we have e captures on d5, and it is as of move five that we have a completely new game. Uh, so what's happening here? Uh, we have e captures on d5 by Hikaru and knight to c3, developing while attacking. So definitely makes sense. Knight g to f6, Hikaru defends the pawn and the queen f3, uh, adding another attacker to the d5 pawn. Uh, Hikaru defends it with c6 and now d4, making room to develop the, the dark square bishop and uh, prepares castling queen side. So bishop to e7, Hikaru prepares the castle king side and bishop to e3 now. And both players castle here. So castle and castles and now uh, as Hikaru mentioned during the the, the stream uh, of course whenever there's an opposite uh, castles of opposite sides uh, you want to attack your opponent as soon as possible since you know that black will be coming at you uh, on the queen side you want to start pushing on the king side as soon as possible so knight to b6 Hikaru wants to bring the knight over to c4 from there the knight uh, will put a lot of pressure on the position uh, if you want to kick it away you're going to have to play b3 which further weakens the king then you allow ideas like bishop to a3 also the, the queen can very easily join the attack uh, and here uh, white should definitely go for something like king b1 and well uh, start pushing on the king side as soon as possible uh, but xqc goes for a4 uh, which is pushing pushing on the wrong side of the board, uh, but it's very uh, it's very uh, instructional how Hikaru deals with it. So Hikaru goes knight to c4, immediately makes room for the queen to deliver checkmate, and uh, it's also. Uh, uh, noteworthy that the knight from c4 guards both of these squares, so the king will not have an escape route here. Uh, so g4, he starts pushing on the king side, but now uh, it's a bit too late as th that a4 move was really, uh, really time consuming, too time consuming. Uh, so queen to b6 by Hikaru going for checkmate here. Uh, and now uh, you could block with b3, but then Hikaru could just go, let's say, queen b4 and then put, uh, put the same idea in motion. So XQC goes for knight to b5 instead, uh, giving up a piece to, to prolong the game. Uh, so Hikaru captures it uh, and now a captures on b5. Just grabbing that pawn, but it's only it's only prolong prolonging the game for a little bit. We have queen to a5 by Hikaru now threatening mate in one uh, as the d2 uh, square is uh, covered by the knight and now b3. Trying to kick away the knight, but it still doesn't help since... Uh, we already mentioned that the knight covers both of these squares, so now queen to a1 will be checkmate. But Hikaru does not deliver checkmate. Uh, instead, uh, Hikaru goes queen to a3 check. Uh, 
in order to, to further explain the cooperation between pieces here, in this case the knight and the queen, how they can deliver uh, this checkmate, but also another one. So here king to b1 is the only move, which Felix played, and now queen to b2, uh, this checkmate, and uh, there is nothing more, of course, Felix can do here. So a very nice 16 move game and a very very educational one, what happens when there are castles of opposite sides, how one move that a4 can just uh, bring white's whole position uh, to a crumble if you don't, uh, if you don't start pushing uh, w when you should, uh, bad things will happen. So uh, a very, very, very nice game by both of them and uh, uh, yeah, regarding that video, I hope, uh, I, I will now give you a few seconds to decide if you still haven't seen it to check out the first link in the description below. It's really not long, but you will have a better idea uh, of, uh, of what's happening. Uh, so now that you've came back from watching that video, now, uh, I will talk a little bit about e elitism in chess. Now, uh, of course, uh, there's elitism in chess. chess. Chess is the ultimate game, and uh, there is no chance in chess. There is no RNG. There is no. Uh, there, there are no teammates which you can, uh, who you can blame. There are no uh, different uh, environmental conditions. Like uh, when you lose, you lose because you lost, and there is no one else to blame. But however, when you win, uh, the the reward is, I believe, the greatest than in any game because uh, it's only you who deserves that um, that praise so the, the reward is uh, yours and yours alone and uh, it's uh, it's it's normal that uh, there's uh, el elitism in chess however uh, there's there's too much of it and it's uh, very unhealthy for example uh, in this video that I've asked you to watch in the description below, uh, Penguin Zero uh, talks about uh, the, the incident with Ben Feingold, how he uh, called Hikaru some dirty names and said that he's only uh, uh, bringing more more people into the chess world for views uh, uh, like XQC and so, some other gamers like Boxbox and uh, Voiboy and... Uh, uh, some other players from from the league community, for example, and uh, I've always thought this was a this was a good idea. Uh, for example, I I learned like maybe two years ago that uh, Voiboy also plays chess, and I immediately made a video on one of his games where he was simultaneously playing Yasuo mid, uh, uh, and then you know when he was going back to base, when he was uh, buying, when he was returning to lane, uh, he would play some chess moves, and uh, I, I thought it was very exciting. I immediately immediately showed that game because I saw it as an opportunity to uh, to introduce chess to, to other players in the league community. So here, it's not much different, and uh, I, I don't know. I, I really think it's a good idea, but uh, regardless of what the video in the description below says about Ben Feingold, uh, I've experienced elitism in chess on myself plenty of times, uh, for example, in, in real life and uh, on, on the internet as well. I remember some maybe 12 years ago, uh, where when we were um, in uh, playing in the Croatian team championship and we we had the opportunity of uh, meeting some grandmasters there, but uh, you couldn't really talk to them. They they always uh, you know uh, walked together, did everything together. It's like it was it was like if you're not a grandmaster, you, you're not even allowed to talk to them. And it was uh, very elitist. Uh, I I didn't enjoy it, and I don't think anyone else did. Uh, but uh, I also remember when I started the channel, uh, everyone was, uh, well, not when I say everyone, I mean uh, mostly negative people uh, were saying that uh, I have no place showing uh, showing chess games, that I shouldn't be explaining chess, that I shouldn't be, shouldn't be even enjoying chess uh, publicly online because I'm not a, I'm not a very strong player. And uh, it's funny because uh, uh, although uh, uh, elitism in chess is ever present it's not only present amongst uh, the elite uh, only among elite players uh, i've had uh, i've had cases where even weaker players than than myself were saying that uh, i i shouldn't be like having a youtube channel i shouldn't be showing chess uh, so it's uh, uh i i do understand where all of this is coming from and uh, it is um uh well it's um I don't really mind all the negative comments that I've received on the subject uh, throughout the years, but someone who is uh, maybe wired differently, you know, mentally than myself would uh, would easily uh, give up on what he's doing, or it would really take a toll a toll on his mental health, or I don't know, it wouldn't be. It's just it's just bad for uh, for introducing new players uh, into the, the the game of chess and it's also uh, just terrible for the community uh, so that's why uh, I've used this quote above the board for this video uh, it's uh, probably one of my favorite chess quotes it says uh, chess is a scene which a gnat may drink and an elephant elephant may bathe uh, saying that uh, it doesn't matter how strong you are or how weak you are uh, chess is a game for everyone because everyone can enjoy chess 
like even if you just know the rules uh, you can still enjoy it uh, and uh, you, you can see this uh, everywhere you can see this uh, in bars in you know libraries in you know in the park uh, pretty much wherever in schools it doesn't doesn't matter what uh, what uh, level of uh, what the level of your playing strength uh, if you if you can enjoy chess then chess is definitely the game for you and um, yeah i think it's um, it's definitely uh, something that needs to be addressed, and I think uh, I think we are now on a good path to addressing it. Uh, and also, uh, Chess.com is organizing a tournament, not just a tournament, but a tournament with a prize fund of fifty thousand uh, dollars, where sixteen of the most popular Twitch streamers will compete uh, for the prize fund of fifty thousand dollars, featuring uh, some streamers like Nate Hill, Yasuo, Boxbox, uh, and more. And I've seen an, uh, there was an announcement that, uh, announcement that uh, XQC will also be joining this tournament. So it will be like. Um, um, I don't know what's what's their playing strength. Uh, it might be ranging from 1,000 to maybe 1,600 max, I would say. Uh, and uh, they will be competing for a prize fund of $50,000. And these are extremely popular streamers, so it's not, uh, I, I don't believe uh, for them it's about the money. I do believe they have plenty of money. Uh, but uh, it's um, uh, so many chess streamers from different games will be playing and streaming chess. I think it's it will just be... Uh, a new boom for for chess, and it will it will enlarge the community like uh, like tenfold. I, I think it's going to be great for chess, and uh, I myself enjoyed uh, uh, you know a few games of league when I was younger, and uh, I, I'm actually very happy that something like this is taking place, and I I will I, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it, and we're definitely going to cover some of the games from uh, from this tournament. So I'm very much looking forward to it, and uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter what your playing strength is. If you if you go online uh, and if you you know go to any chess platform, click click you know challenge the the ma the matchmaking al algorithm is pretty much the same as in any online game. So if you if you rated a thousand, uh, the matchmaking algorithm will uh, match you with someone of of a similar strength. And uh, it doesn't matter how strong or weak you are, there will always be so many people that can defeat you. But there will be even more players that you will be able to defeat uh, so you know chess is a wonderful game uh try it enjoy it and uh, you'll see that it's it's just awesome uh but yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, what i wanted to say on the subject um uh all in all now uh, do check out the video in the description below so so you know what what i was talking about if, if you didn't get the idea uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure Felix uh, learned a lot uh, by uh, by playing with Nakamura, uh, so many games and getting getting advice from an elite grandmaster. And uh, Nakamura is doing doing good work here because it's uh, okay. Uh, it's different when uh, someone like me does it online since I'm not an elite player. But when Nakamura plays with uh, someone like uh, Felix, like Boxbox, like Voiboy, uh, who someone who is an elite grandmaster, then that really puts a huge shadow over el elitism in chess. And I think it's uh, I I think it's a wonderful wonderful thing. So yeah. Uh, once again, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, William, William Gould, uh, Ryan Bozant, uh, Jacques Wenger, uh, Paul Saxton, and Ralph Dello for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon continuing uh, the coverage of the Lindoris Abbey, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, and whatever else happens in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day. And do check out uh, the other games between Felix and Nakamura. The links are in the description below. See you soon.